Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So I am binge recording podcasts here, walking around this body of water. <laughs> I remember the last podcast. I was like a man-made lake. Is it? A, I don't even know. I don't know. Something where there's gators in and snakes. That's all I know. But I'm recording these podcasts, kind of catching up as I'm here right now in Orlando, Florida. But a huge business conference called Funnel Hacking Live. 3,000, 3,500 crazy motherfucking entrepreneurs that are changing the world. I'm honored to be a piece of it here. So I'm like, I got about five minutes as I'm recording these. It's early before the coffee place opens at six. I get coffee, bring it back to, for my husband and I to our room. I've already done my meditation. I'm walking as I'm doing these podcasts. I'm getting some movement. I'll go back and do some squats and some push-ups and journal. And get ready for the day. Day four here is before we head home tomorrow. And I'm like, what can I record in five minutes? Oh, right. Let me record this quickly. Here's something that would make sense. Maybe this shit doesn't take as much time as you think. Do you know how many of you will tell me like, oh, well, this will take a long time. Listen, shit can. Sometimes, you know, if there's certain things, like let's say, for example, your marriage has been in trouble for a number of years, that it's been fucking dead for the last 10. If you think that a month of weekly date nights, that you texting your message, your text message, your text messaging your husband, for seven days straight, letting him know what you love on, appreciate about him. If you think that like, that'll turn the Titanic, which is the the you know the the uh, the lifelessness of your marriage, then you're out of your fucking mind. Of course, it's going to take time. But there are a lot of things that you have put up as a barrier because you go, no, don't have the time. I'm too busy, Karen. I don't have the time. I used to work out a hell of a lot more than I did before and actually have a stronger body, fitter body, leaner body. I used to tell myself the lie. We moved here to Victoria, BC. Suddenly I went from having, oh gosh, let's see, probably close to eight hours to work in my day after dropping off kids at school and daycare to like, oh my God, I got about five. And guess what? In that five period of time too, I train. I box, so I train that time period, or I meet my swim coach, or I have other appointments like personal girly shit, like get my lashes done, or nails, and or health things, chiropractic appointments, floats, like there's not a lot of time in my day during that 9 to 2.30ish that I have to work. And so I went, I don't have enough time to do all these things I want to do with my business, this message, this movement. And then I realized that that was not going to change unless I got like after school care for my kids. I was just like, I don't, I don't want that. So what is another possibility? Oh, right. Let me record the podcast as I walk to and from school with Tyson, which is what I did for the very first year. And we used to live closer to school and we could actually walk and we're in a different home. I'm like, right. You know what? I've said like, oh, I don't want to go back to like, we had so many late nights for so many years of working when kids are in bed. I'm like, I don't want to go back to that. I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe that needs to happen. Maybe just what it is, is things will not take as long as they need to take. Because I have an idea in my head that says I need this X amount of hours. Maybe it means that I just need to get more focused on the things that I really want to do and the things that matter most and make this shit happen. Maybe it doesn't take that much time. And it's not about time management. Don't get caught in that stupid trap of, well, if I block time and then this technique and blah, blah. No, what do you fucking want? What is really required? There are certain things in your life that are taking so much much time. Well, what thing can I have somebody else do? What thing can I give up? We pay someone to come and clean our house every single week. And for some of you, you might go, oh, I could never do that, that, that. Do you know how much time that saves me? Do you know what that does for me emotionally to be able to be in my home and know my home is clean? 
or to know that I don't have to wake up on a Saturday morning and, and clean for three or four hours and take time away from me being with my children, take time away from me being able to invest my business. I lose money if I do that kind of stuff because my time can be spent elsewhere. I start to be open to that delegation. We order our groceries online. Now that is a crazy thing if you don't do it. Holy shit. I don't know, what's the delivery charge? I think for us, our grocery store, I don't know, five, six dollars, something like ridiculous. I don't have to drive the grocery store, pick up groceries, I'm probably gonna pick up shit I don't even need. And then I have to drive it back home. Like, and then wait in line at the grocery store. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Get online groceries. Unless you're in like a rural part that doesn't have it. Like, holy shit. I, I, I figured out ways on how I could get time back. Oh, I can't possibly. Like, oh, how am I going to manage it? Oh, I'm in a journal. I don't have time. How about I just get up earlier? And then at first I was spending so much time reading and so much time this, and it was like two and a half hours. I'm like, wait a second, maybe it doesn't have to take so much time. Maybe if my purpose is to start my day in power that I don't have to spend an hour reading, like this is crazy. Maybe it's not gonna take that much time. So here's one more tip for today, sister. What is something that you were thinking that you can't either, you can't either do or continue to do because you think it's gonna take too much time? Like you feel you don't have the time, you're too busy. I want you to really examine that. I want you to journal that and take a look. What is another possibility? What is another way that I can do that thing that maybe doesn't take as much time as I actually believe it to be? People will go to the gym for like two, three hours. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I can put you through a workout that will kill you in 15 minutes. That will be more efficient for your body. That will give you greater good than some long ass cardio. Go check your phone and like, what the hell? So journal that and see what insights come up. So three things today, sister. Number one, if you've not already visited and gotten your one to more apparel at the new one to more store, so you can wear who you are, I want you to head over to shop.womanwantingmore.com. Place your order today. Number two, I'm going to ask that you share that order up online with other women. You post on your Facebook page. You share it up on Instagram. You send it to a friend going, oh my God, check out this cool shit. Get this. Let's get matching tanks in the gym that will say, I'm powerful, all in. Like these words mean something. I created this with not just like cool things to wear. This is part of you being part of the Woman Want More movement. So that's at shop.womanwantingmore.com. Number two is to share that up with another woman. Preferably on social media, you can have one post that affects many. And number three is this. If you don't already subscribe to the Woman to More newsletter, you need to go do that right fucking now. You're missing out. I'm going to send you the More For Action Guide, which will really show you how to start your day in power. So that's at drkarenosrum.com slash action guide. So I will talk the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip. Subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.